Today I'm gonna to take you through my favorite ring exercises. I'm gonna cover beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels. I'm gonna run through them very, very quickly. Now these don't particularly go in an order of easiest to hardest. I've broken them down more into the types of movements. Certain people and certain body types will find different exercises easier or harder as well. So you can't really put them in a easiest to hardest order. But let me know down in the comments if you have any questions on any of the specific exercises and I can make another video just on that and go into way more detail. But the cool thing is with the rings, you can set them up anywhere. You can chuck them over a tree, you can chuck them over a post, a pull-up bar, different heights. You can take them with you in your bag. They're probably the best calisthenics tool that you can buy. You can do upper body, lower body, straight arm, bent arm, pushing and pulling. So just make sure that when you set them up that you have the rings level and you have them shoulder width apart. A lot of people, when they set them up on a bar like this, they have them way too wide. And then when they do positions, they have to try and pull the rings in. So try and keep them shoulder width apart. So let's just start off with push-ups. Now with the push-up positions, we can set up like a normal push-up to make it easier. I can walk the feet forwards. To make it harder, I can walk the feet backwards. I can also lower the rings to make it harder. I can increase the height of the rings to make it easier. So just into your normal like plank position, start in quite a protracted position, so don't be collapsed through there. Start, stay quite active. And then the cool thing about the rings is as I lower, I can turn them, and I'm gonna keep going until my biceps or shoulder touch the ring, and then I'm gonna push back up into that protracted or that strong position at the top, and I'm gonna kiss the rings together to show control. You can even do them with the feet in the rings. Same thing, taking the chest down towards the floor and come back up to that protracted strong position at the top. For those of you that are stronger, you can go into archer push-ups. Now with the archer one, I'm taking my feet a little bit wider for stability, but as I come down, I'm taking one arm out to the side. Same thing, I'm taking the right arm until down until the bicep or the shoulder touches the ring, and then come back up and then do the same on the opposite side. So touch, keeping that other arm straight, push back out kiss the rings at the top. Instead of lowering the rings, you could raise the feet as well, which will make that harder. So same deal, kissing at the bottom with the bicep or the chest to the ring, open it up, show control, protracted, strong position, kiss the rings at the top. Then the opposite movement to the push-up, we've got the rows. Now with the rows, we've got a few different options. Go to that protract position around the upper back at the bottom, have the palms facing down, and when I pull in, I'm gonna turn the rings so palms face up, Hands touch the chest, show control, retract, and then come back down again. I can play around with having the hips open and the knees closed. I can have a straight body, which is harder. I could raise my feet up on a box, which is harder again. And to make it easier, obviously the opposite, higher rings. And having the feet further back. Single arm row, I can get some rotation, so I'm gonna reach up with the strap with the left hand. And then I'm gonna slowly come down, take the left arm across down the strap across the body, reach out behind me, and back up. So you get that rotation for thoracic mobility. And you can even take that one down and go onto opposite hand and foot. We have all the chin up variations, so you can do assistance by jumping, you could have your toes on the floor, you could do eccentrics, you could have your toes on a box. You could start progressions towards one arm so you could lock off, play with the archer variations. Full arches, keeping one arm straight. Now you can even do things like bicep curls. Tricep extensions. Okay, then we have support position up on the rings. So a really important one to start to learn for some of the harder positions. So making sure you can hold in this position. Now palms into your body is easier. Turn it out, as you can hear my voice, it's much harder. Now you could also look at this position as being top of the dip. So if we have top of the dip, we also need to have bottom of the dip. So learning to hold in this position, make sure you can keep the rings into your side. And if you struggle with either of those, you can just use toe assist. 
Oh, so we have top of the dip, bottom of the dip, and then we have dips. Now I'm not gonna go through how you train dips. I'm just gonna show you the exercise. So coming down to that bottom position, back up again. So top support down to bottom support or bottom of dip and back up again. Then we can go into our candlestick position or our inverted hold. So palms by the side. See with this one, if you can get your toes and your body in line with the straps, just be careful, don't keep the hips closed. Fully open, glutes on, abs on, body a straight line, one segment. If you struggle to kick up into that position, you could do it this way around, palms down, turn the hands over, and then just jumping up into the position there. Just make sure with this that you can exit on both sides. Then we can go into the skin the cat variations. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this, but basically you wanna start from that hanging position. If you can, straight arms pulling up to inverted, going all the way over to your German hang, and then pulling back out. If it's easy, we can raise the rings up. And then you do exactly the same movement. But obviously you can open out. Then you can just start to open the legs out and make it harder, working towards that 360 pull, which is a straight body. Pull through that skin, the cat. You could pause or do separate holds in the front lever or the back lever position. Starting in the tuck position obviously would be easier on both sides. And then as you progress, as you get stronger, you can open out into harder positions. And then all the progressions towards the muscle ups can be done on the rings. Either easier versions with toe assist. So the muscle up transition on the toes. Toe assist. Working up to the full movement. Progressions of uh, muscle up going towards things like forward rolls. Work in the eccentric if you don't have the full movement yet. You have your L sit variations. Now, obviously, this could be done on lower rings or if you have the muscle up. Once you're up there, you could do your L sit, so you could be tuck. Work into straighter position. Shoulder stand. Again, tuck. Work into straighter position. And then once you have a few movements to play with, you can either do repetitions of that same movement or progressions of the movement, or you can start to put movements together. So link them together like routines. So common ones would be uh, muscle up, L sit, shoulder stand, dip, forward roll, and then going below the rings, going towards your skin the cat, German hang, Whoop, hat come off and back down again. So basically there's an endless list of drills and exercises that you can do on the rings. Now let me know down in the comments if you know any that I've missed or if there's any that you want me to go into in more detail and I'll break them down in another video.